Okay, let's continue solving this problem with part B, where we're asked to solve for the reactions at the bearings, and we're going to do that assuming that the bearings act as simple supports. So let me redraw our assembly down on the next page. This is a side view of our assembly. There's the shaft, and then I'm going to draw pulley A at the end here, and then pulley B here sort of in the middle, and I'm going to draw our bearings as simple supports. So the simple support just means that we are going to fix the shaft in a translational directions, but we're going to allow for any kind of rotation. So that could be bending of the shaft or twisting. And let me now draw our forces. So this is bearing O. So we have a reaction O, Y. Here's bearing C and reaction C, Y. I could also draw reactions OX and CX acting axially on these bearings, but we don't have any kind of loading in the axial direction, at least it's not described in the problem, so we're going to ignore that for now. And then let's draw our applied loads on pulley A and pulley B. So pulley A, our tensions are acting downwards, both of them, and this effective load on the shaft from pulley A is going to be the sum of those two belt tensions, which were 1800 plus 270 newtons. That sort of makes sense if you were to look at the assembly from the side, the two arrows would be one on top of the other from the belt tensions anyway, right? So we've got both of those tensions acting in this downward direction. And then for pulley B, our tensions are acting upward. And those are, let's see, we just solved for them in the previous step. So that's 2,880 plus 432 newtons. Okay, the last thing that we need here is we need to know these distances between each of the applied loads or reaction loads. So this is not drawn to scale, but we're given that this distance is 230 millimeters, this distance was 280 millimeters, and this distance is 300 millimeters. All right, now we have two unknowns that are OY and CY. We're going to need two equations of equilibrium to solve this. So the first one we'll do is the sum of moments equal to zero. And remember, this is still Newton's second law, but we are assuming that everything is rotating at a constant speed. So we have no angular acceleration, um, and we're going to assume that also in the direction that we're now facing, that we don't have any acceleration either. Um, so our sum of moments is going to be equal to zero, and I'm going to sum the moments about point O. You could also sum the moments about point C. It will give you the same answer. And the moments acting at point O are going to be the 2,880 plus 432. So let me add those together. So 3,312 newtons. And they're acting at a distance of point two three meters. It's also a negative moment, right? I could use my right hand rule to see that. Or sorry, it's a positive moment. Um, 
using right hand rule, my force is going in the upwards direction, so it's causing counterclockwise rotation, and that's considered positive in right handed systems. Um, you can use the you can make your own convention and say that clockwise is positive, but um, I'll use counterclockwise as positive. Okay, so now let's move on to CY, and the way I've drawn it, it's causing a rotation in the same direction as those belt tensions from pulley B. So that's also going to be positive, and it's acting at a distance of 0.23 plus 0.28 which is 0.51 meters. And finally, I have the belt tensions from pulley A, which are acting clockwise. The sum of those is 2,070 newtons, and they're acting at the full distance of 0.81 meters from point O. Okay, and all of this is equal to zero. So I can solve here for CY and find that it is equal to 2070 times 0.81 minus 3312 times 0.23 divided by 0.51. So 1794 newtons. And so next I just need to solve for OY, which I can do just taking the sum of forces in the Y direction equal to zero. I get that OY plus 3,312 plus 1794 minus 2,070 is equal to zero. So OY is gonna be 3,312 plus 1794 minus 2,070 is going to be 3,036, and that's negative 3,036 newtons. So OY is going to be acting in a negative direction. So if I were to draw the actual way that OY is acting, it's down like this, and CY is still acting in a positive direction.